Jamovi includes one really kind of unusual, kind of funny looking graph. It's called a violin plot. And what it is, and it's sort of the box plot version of the density plot. And it just kind of spreads out and you'll see why it's called a violin. I'm starting with the iris data set from the example data. And I'm using the box plots that I created in the last video. I'm simply going to click here where I have the four variables and I'm not splitting them by anything. And I'm going to come here over to plots. And again, the reason violins right here is because Jamovi is able to stack all three of these on top of each other. You don't want to do that because it gets really busy looking. But I'm going to show you the relationship between the box plot and the violin plot by simply adding it right here. When I do that, you get a shape that looks a little bit like a Rorschach ink blot that actually corresponds to what's happening in the box plot. Here, for instance, you can see that we've got a lot of data here in the middle, and that's where the violin plot goes out the most. We get a funny little manta ray shaped one here because of our strongly leptocurtic distribution. And down here, you can see why it's called a violin plot because we get it comes out, it goes back in, it comes out because of the bimodal distributions that we have on these two variables. Now, I'm actually going to remove the box plot so you can see just the violin plot on its own. And what we're left with is really just a little bit of squiggles. It feels like, again, a projective test. It's a little hard for me to read, but it's an interesting version. Again, it's like a density plot, but oriented in the same direction as the box plot. You can, of course, do the same thing with the subgroup analyses that we have down here, where we broke down the measurements by species. I'm going to click on that to open up this menu. And there you can see we have species there. I'm going to click violin. And then I'm actually going to also unclick box plot right now. And what we have feels like a little set of drawing of ghosts or something. But you can see the distributions for the three different species. And it really feels like we're looking at a chart of animal shapes. There's a nice little bat down here. But you can see this shows that it's a strongly compressed range because Again, the outcome variable pedal length goes vertically here. And then pedal width, you can see again, we have a very unusual distribution for the cetosis. Well, things are almost kind of sort of normal for the Versicolor and the Virginica. And so the violin plot, not a very common choice, but potentially an interesting one. And it might be able to give you some extra insight into your data.